In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint Sister Repentia for your Sisters of Battle Force. I'm going to be a bit adventurous, and I'm going to show you how to paint three different skin tones in the same tutorial. So we're going to paint these Repentia, and we're going to do different skin tones uh, on them all. So we're going to do dark, medium, and then a light skin tone. So in terms of how I've primed all the models, I've primed them all like this. Uh, so it's a grey sear base, and then it's a bit of Corax white above, just to give a, a bit of a zenithal highlight. So it doesn't matter which ones you want to pick, but in terms of uh, getting them done, we're just going to do the skin base coats first. Uh, and then we'll do all the rest of it and we'll finish up. We'll do the skin last like we always do because that gives us a chance to correct any mistakes. So for the kind of medium skin, we're going to use Bugman's Glow. It's going to work this on to the mini. And don't worry if you go over certain bits because of course we're going to go in and tidy everything up after. So just take your time, work your own, get the Bugman's Glow over all the skin. And then we'll come back when that's complete. So I've based the skin on this one. So we'll, the next one we'll do is this model here. Um, and I think for this one we'll do dark skin. So the dark skin uh, is Dryad Bark. So again, all we're doing is exactly the same thing we did with the previous one. We're just getting that coat of Dryad Bark down first. Uh, and then we can always go back and uh, tidy up around it later on. Uh, because if we did all the skin now and finished it, then any mistakes we made later on would just be a little bit harder to correct. So for me, it's really important we'll just base coat it. And then any uh, bits we spill over the base coat, we can easily repair. And then the last thing we do is just highlight up all the skin because it's really straightforward to do then at that point. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just carry on putting this dryad bark all over the exposed skin, and we'll come back and we'll do the we'll do the light skin last. So that's all the dryad bark then, and the last one we're going to do is this one, and we're going to base this one in Kislev Flesh. So again, exactly the same sort of thing. Paint all the flesh with Kislev. Now this is the first one we've used that's kind of a layer paint. So you may need to put two coats on to get a nice smooth coverage of the Kislev flesh. And what we'll do once we've got this base is we'll just go back to one model and we'll work on the one model all the way through and we'll come back to working across the, the three different ones when, we, uh, when we're ready to do all the skin highlighting. So don't worry, I'm not going to be flicking between three models. I'm just going to focus on one. And then we'll come back uh, to get the three done. So there we are. As with all the others, with this one, just get that Kislev flesh on all over the skin. And uh, like I said, you may need two coats. Wait for it to dry, and we'll come back. Okay, so we're just going to stick with the one model now uh, to work through all the different stages. So we want to start painting the clothes next, and they're black, which is obviously going to be the darkest colour. So we've got the kind of the top here, and again, we just want to be as careful as we can without going over some of the skin that we've already painted. So we've got the the top, we've got the wristbands or band braces here. So we'll do them. We've also got the shorts or the bottom half of the outfit. And again, taking our time, you can see there that this isn't covering perfectly well first time, even though it's black. So what you know do is go in and put a Put a second covering on it just to make sure that the, the coat is nice and thin. And then the last bit we're going to do in the black, we've got the shoes. So similar to what we're doing elsewhere, just working our way around, making sure we've got a nice even coverage on everything. So there we are, finish the rest of it off cam and then we'll come back and we'll uh, start to think about highlighting that. Once we've got that black down, I'm going to highlight it. And the colour I'm going to use for this is Mechanica Standard Grey. And what we want to do is where we can, so on the shoe here, for example, is we want to follow along with the the shape of the model. So you just run your brush along the edge. And then where you've got a little bit more 
just careful brush strokes just kind of highlight that shoe do the same on this side as well you see it gives a nice even highlight and we want to do the same with the clothes so where we've got the lines we want to follow them and just work your way around the model and finding all these kind of edges that we can use Mechanica standard grey and just to highlight that black a little more and then once you've done that we'll come back and we'll make a start on the uh, metallics next. Let's do the silver metallics first so using iron hand steel for this and we're looking for all the metal bits oops bit of a habit lately of dropping models uh, basically we're looking to just base them all with with the iron hand steel. What I'll do th those fleur de lis and the skulls we'll do them in gold or brass so we just want to make sure that we cover nicely over all the the bits that we want to actually be silver. Now on the uh, repentia there's quite a few other bits as well so if we have a look around we've got these studs all across the body which is uh, where the armour power armour connects uh, into the bodies of the, the wearer so that it functions as one and we've also got some barbs around the, the model this particular one's got a fleur de lis across her face not sure what the punishment is that she's in during perhaps she spoke out of turn um, we've also got in some instances we've got barbs and sharp objects pushed through the skin as well so work your way around the models make sure you get all the bits you need to be silver done try not to spill it on anything you've already finished but if if you do it's not the end of the world and come back and uh, and get that done so i'm going to finish the rest of the metallics off cam and then when we come back we'll have a look at shading and highlighting next we want to take some null oil and just run that all over the silver Just make sure it doesn't pool anywhere. Take your time. Be careful not to get over too many other parts and exactly where you want it. This will just dull the metal down a little bit. Just work it on there. And obviously don't forget all the other sort of metal bits. I had a bit too much of my brush there and it would have really swamped these parts of, uh, of the connections. So nice and simple, nice and straightforward. Work your way all the way around the model and just pop some null oil over those metallic bits. Make sure that null oil is properly dry uh, because we don't want to be going over and uh, smudging it anywhere. And then just take some chrome from Vallejo Model Air. It's a great colour for highlighting silver. Now where you can just pick out the edges there. So all I'm doing is just running the brush along the edge of the model. And you can see it gives you a really nice highlight not only to give you a nice highlight but it's a consistent highlight as well so then you've got the teeth as well the chainsaw you can just run down the front there and you can also look at doing that front edge so work your way around make sure all that metal is highlighted on the sh on the, uh, the especially the bits that are kind of pointing upwards we'll come back and do the gold metal next for the gold, just take a little bit of Retributor armour and we just want to put this uh, on areas such as the hand guard here. We've also got the pommel of the uh, eviscerator chainsword. And then along the chainsword itself, we've got some fleur de lis and we've got some skull motifs as well so you want to paint them gold and when you've got that done let it dry and we'll shade it next shading that gold is also really really easy nice and straightforward a little bit of Reichland flesh shade just pop this all over the gold that you've just painted 
particular area though is just to be careful when you're on the silver you just want to kind of drop it into the thing rather than go around the outside because if you go around the outside what you're going to do is you're going to turn the color of that silver a little bit ready which we don't really want so all the way around the gold get that right colour flesh shade on and then i think we're just about ready for the parchment next to highlight that gold and just give it a little bit of a shine just take some liberator gold we just want to run it along the edges there just to kind of help it stand out and you can see there straight away it's a really nice effect really nice color combo it's the liberator the retributor the reichland and then for the decorative part on the Eviscerate chainsaw just again just dabbing in there like that nice and simple and straightforward So get that done on yours and then we'll come back and we'll start up on all the uh, all the parchment next Model starting to come together now, so for all the parchment we're gonna use Rackarth flesh and Really this is again one of those really simple steps where we're just base coating all the paper Just base coating it with that Rackarth flesh So all you really have to do is make your way around the model, obviously being careful of areas that you've already finished, not to go over them. And then once that's all done and it's fully dry, we'll come back and we'll give it some shading. When the Rakar flesh is dry, I just want to take some Agrax Earth Shade and shade down all the parchment. Well, you want to be careful when you're doing this. One, not getting it on things you've already finished, but two, not flooding too much on. So if you have a look at that, that's probably about right. Might be a little bit much on this end here, so just take some away with your brush. Uh, because what we don't want to do is have this parchment too dark uh, and have too much Agrax Earthshade pooling. So just work your way around all the different bits of parchment that you've got. And then if it's a little too much, just take some away. And then next up we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll give it all a highlight. When that Rakarth flesh is dry, just... Not the Rakarth flesh, sorry, the Agrax Earthshade. Uh, when that's dry, go back with some Rakarth flesh and just start to highlight up the kind of parts of the parchment that have got the... kind of pointing up the most. Just take your time with this, working your way around. Just leaving that Agrax Earth shade in the darkest recesses and what you'll start to see is things will brighten up fairly quickly. So just work your way all the way around the model. You may want to try something like this where when you're highlighting it you just stripes, lines like that and that kind of gives the impression of, of parchment as well just like that entirely up to you but work your way around the model get that all finished and we'll come back and just pop another little highlight on that parchment last little bit of a highlight for the parchment be some uh, pallid, wi pallid witch flesh and again what we're looking to do is just catch those highest raised areas just to, to brighten up everything on there and if you're feeling confident, if you want to, you can add some text to the parchment. You don't have to, you can just have it flowing in the wind. So I'll finish the rest of this, and then we'll come back. And I think we'll do the purity seals next, and then we'll finish off with the, with the flesh and with the hair. The purity seals, um, and also the handle of uh, the chain swords, we're going to base them in Screamer Pink. So just take your time, be careful not to get Screamer Pink on part you've already finished. So it's maybe a little, a little delicate. But then once that Screamer Pink is done, give the whole load a wash with null oil. I'm not going to do that on, on cam, I'll do that off cam because again it's, it's pretty straightforward. You don't really need to see me doing it. Um, so get that on all purity seals, null oil. And we'll come back and we'll look at highlighting it. Once that null oil is dry, you can highlight the 
purity seals just with a little bit of pink horror and all you're looking to do is just pick out some of the raised areas just like that just make sure you do it on all the purity seals and if you can see some of the handle on the chain blade as well try some of that so there we are work your way around um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the hair and then the skin so let's check on my purity seals and we'll come back and do that so for the hair on this one um, these are going to be for our order of our martyred lady so they've all got white hair so all I'm going to do is just with the hair here I'm just going to take some Corax white and just draw in the hair there and that's not too bad that's pretty good uh, for what we want so there we are so before we get started on the skin what we need to do it's just go around with those base colours again and make sure that we haven't got any issues. Make sure we've covered off uh, any mistakes we've made. Reinstate the base coats and then come back and we'll we'll get cracking on the flesh. And remember, we're doing three, three different types. Once we've reinstated that basic skin tone, what we want to do is we want to shade it down. So on the lighter skin tones, we're just going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade and shade it all over the flesh so we've got this one here which is over the Bugman's glow flesh and then we've got uh, this one here which is over the Kislev flesh so just work that Reichland flesh shade all through all over we don't want it to pool anywhere we just want it to pick up the recesses so that's nice and easy to highlight back up so work your way around the model get this Reichland in careful of anything you've already finished uh, and don't let it pool too much because we just want to slightly darken the skin that we're covering we don't want to go completely overboard with it once that wash is dry let's just get in there and start to reinstate some of that base coat so I'll just show you here on the on the one we've been painting all the way through with the sort of medium flesh tone just looking for those highlighted areas those bits which kind of jump out this will start to, to lighten the skin then so you're going to work your way around the model you see here you've got fairly big areas to get the Bugman's glow back onto you've also got some scarring we'll we'll do that a little in a, a little bit as well but right now we're just reinstating that base colour so make sure you do this for all your different skin tones that you might be painting so we've got Kislev we've got uh, Cadian flesh tone one that I'm doing as well just off uh, off cam and don't worry the dark skin tone we'll do all that at the same time because uh, that'll just be highlights to start with so just keep going around with the Bugman's glow with the Kislev flesh get these brought back up to a nice base layer and then we'll look at highlighting them so to highlight that Bugman's glow base so it's going to take some cadian flesh tone and what you're looking for is just those sorry a bit much on the brush there is just these kind of raised areas there just around there and around the kind of the the muscles it's going down the back of the leg there it's the achilles what you'll start to see then is that starts to kind of just brighten that skin tone quite nicely so for the hands going down to the fingers at the muscles the shoulder around there and obviously the head so I'll finish the rest of that off cam for the Kislev flesh highlights what we're looking for is a bit of flayed one flesh and again we're doing exactly the same thing we're looking for those on the hand there just creating those brighter areas and on the calf just running up the leg nice and straightforward so work your way around the models get them highlighted using those two colors and then when we come back we'll see how we look but we should be pretty much done on them and we'll highlight the dark skin tone next to highlight the dark skin tone we're going to use exactly the same techniques but what we're going to do is use Gothor Brown 
So this is a bit lighter than the kind of colours we've already established on there. So you can see when I'm painting on the leg that that's really kind of brightening up that skin tone quite a lot. And that's good. Don't worry if you put too much on or you brighten the skin tone too much. Because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shade this down again. And then look to possibly re-highlight it to get it to the the colour we want. So just work your way around the model. Get that Gortho Brown highlight on where you want it. And then we'll come back and see how we're looking. And there we have it. That Gortho Brown's gone okay actually. And what you could have done, you could have shaded it with some Agrax Earth Shade. But actually I quite like how that's worked out. It's given a really rich, vibrant, dark skin tone. So it looks really good. So with that, these sisters are finished. So all you need to do is you need to paint the kind of little rocks around the base. Base them like the rest of your army. I'm just going to pop a little bit of black around there while I decide what I'm going to do with them. Uh, and these Repentia are done. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at our turntable next. And we'll talk about any additional bits and pieces you can do if you want. So there we have it. These four Repentia are done. The extra one I did in terms of its flesh tone was Cadian, Reichland Wash, Cadian and Kislev Highlights. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. We tried something different this time. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. Don't forget, there's links to all my recommended equipment in the description. And you can also get up to 20% off all your Warhammer from Goblin Gaming if you're in the UK or the EU. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.